This is table washing. Again, this has a very logical sequence. Everything has its place on the rug. Um, we're, this is only done in the tiled area because this is the instance where we're starting to use water. This has a large motor that we're using. Also be using um, our prior knowledge of pouring water that we and that started all the way back for the pouring of the grains that we've shown already. Again, this area works on the concentration, the coordination. So here's a very big gross motor thing. Also, during the sequence, you'll also notice some things about moving left to right that will help later on with preparation for writing and also for reading then. The wetting of the table prepares it for the soap so that we get lots and lots of suds. So this is a good work for children. It's a lot of movement. Um, again, it also helps them when they see a dirty table, you'll instantly see them want to take it, do, wash it up, get it all nice and clean. We're moving left and right. Always slow on the edges. We're moving left and right. It's just as if you were writing on a piece of paper and you have to come to the edge of the paper. You start to slow down so that you don't go past the edge. Again, moving left to right, checking the sponge, seeing all the soap on there. Sort of a control right there. If there's too much soap, the table's not going to get cleaned. There. The last step to washing the table is drying the table. Again, in the same motion as when we were scrubbing it. Again, emphasizing left to right. Slow around the edges. Just as if you were writing on a piece of paper.
So there's the logical sequence of the washing the table. Then we just clean it up to put it away. Again, all that pouring work that we did was very useful. <clears throat> and all the things that you have to pour. All those natural things that people do at home to make sure things are nice and cleaned out are things that we even include in the classroom. And as always, when we have something cleaned up, we're always going to leave it prepared and clean and dry for the next person so that it's completely ready for them. So every child, when they see something they would like to do, can just go to it and do the work.